Hello and welcome to Glenn Small Engine in Greenville, Texas. In this video I'm going to show you how to test the ignition coil. This is not exactly the way we do it in the shop. But this is a way that, the, that you can do it at home for the do-it-yourselfer. First thing you want to do is pull your plug out of it. That way it's real easy to spin the saw over. We're going to pull the starter off here. And we're going to unhook the keel wire from the ignition coil. You don't want to test the coil with the keel wire hooked up. Because if you've got a problem with the wiring or the switch, it's going to interfere with your test. Uh, should be about 13 thousandths clearance right here between the magnet and the coil. This particular coil is a single piece. We don't have any points or anything. Go ahead and put a couple of screws back in the starter. All right, now we're ready to test it. Here in the shop, we use a fire tester like this. It's got a gap in it that's almost a quarter of an inch. Most people don't have these. So what you can do is take an old plug that you know is good, push the ground out away from the electrode, Right now I've got a little over an eighth of an inch gap there. Uh, this uh, coil should jump that gap. It takes a lot more voltage to fire this plug with it, with it running, so that's why we need to jump that gap right there. Uh, that checks the reserve voltage in the ignition coil. Well, hopefully you can see that. Okay, I've got a real good spark there. see if I can zoom in so you can see it. Okay, so at this point what we'd want to do is we know our coil is passing our test here, so we want to go ahead and put the keel wire back up. Go ahead and hook your kill wire back up and do the same thing again. Uh, this is going to ensure that we don't have a problem with the ignition switch or any of the wiring. Okay, switch is on. Okay, still got a good spark. Switch is off. No spark. Okay, so uh, everything's checking out good here. Uh, there are some situations where uh, if the saw gets really hot, warms up, and it quits, uh, you could have a coil breaking down. Uh, if it does that, uh, as soon as the saw dies, uh, do your little test here. If it doesn't fire, then you know your coil is probably uh, breaking down when it's hot. That's rare, but it does happen. Some of the modern saws have a, a spark advance and retard and uh, rev limiters. Uh, sometimes those can malfunction. Uh, if you suspect that, uh, you probably need to take it to the shop. Uh, we're just going to keep it real basic and simple in these videos here. Uh, appreciate you stopping by. If you'd like to see more repair videos, visit my website. It's smallinge.com. Uh, to ensure that our website stays up and running and free for everybody, small donation is appreciated. Thank you.